Hey everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Eternal Evolution. For today's video, we're going to talk about the hunter bond that you encounter while doing a Twilight Lands. How do you beat it? Well, not only how do you beat it, but how do you use it well? So the hunter, when you hear the hunter bond, you know there's going to be shields involved. So let's take a look at one of these bosses, for example. So this is one of those like mini in-between bosses. It's not the main boss, it's the in-between boss. So let's see, alienated Kirin gains a shield that can absorb damage equal to blah, 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 blah. Starts if the shield is not broken by the time the channel is complete, inflicts extra damage and stuns them. Channeling is interrupted, the shield will be broken. So there are a couple of these um, bosses with that are that actually put the shield on all allies as well. Plus there's those uh, in between levels where they do that too, which I'll show you as well. So you want to take out the boss that's putting up the shield so you can do more damage and actually beat them and the al uh, the and their allies ideally first and the hunter bond really does make a big difference so let's talk hunter bond first of all you can go ahead and try your generalist bond as well but overall the hunter bond bonus is going to be worth it so i think we're going to change that up for this battle sorry okay so Hunter Bond, let's take a look. When an allied hunter attacks a target with a shield, they inflict 200% bonus damage. When an allied hunter attacks a target with a shield, they inflict 300% bonus damage. So having three hunters in your team can really be helpful to take out those hunters specific, or the bosses specifically, and then worry about taking out the ads afterward. So, but there's the good thing about the hunter category is it's pretty diverse. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna leave the core of Masrani and Leo for this most part. We're going to also use, of course, we got to use our girl Emma, right? We all love our Emmas. Who doesn't love? And Pregor gives an AoE damage. So I'm actually going to put her here. I'm not sure if her reach is good enough to hit the back. Sometimes you want to make sure that, like, Ravenna needs to be in the middle row or she doesn't always hit the back bosses. Same thing with Emma. I noticed her reach is not always as ideal. But, you know, I think, hmm, I'm trying to remember which one's better. Emma's is a little shorter, or Xena. I think it's okay. You know what? All right, we're gonna we're gonna boost Emma and Azina. Boost with that. Boost Azina. Wait, boost Emma with Azina. Take advantage of her here. We're gonna go ahead. So there's a couple strategies you could use. Brynhilds because you know you're attacking a single target more often. Or you could probably go ahead and use Samadhi as well. Attack speed is king. And if you have Emma and Azina in here, they're all about that attack speed. And you could probably pump out some extra damage this way. So I might, you know, let's try it. Let's go ahead and try this. This one for me is very good when dealing with the Hunter Bond. Because not only um, are we going to go more often with this attack speed here. But the one that I have is Emma and Azina ultimates. And 9% extra crit damage too. Hunter units. So that's going to help my Pregor, my Azina. My Emma doesn't really have any crit rate, but that's fine. <laughs> Let's go ahead and assign that. So I'm also going to go ahead and I think use Vision Stone for this. For a little bit more consistency with the damage. We, got, we do have Leo, so I'm going to use Prism Amulet and we're going to use Flashpoint otherwise. Keep in mind, guys, if you don't use Leo or Kree as your tank, then you're going to want to go ahead and just use whichever one is the highest. If you're using an actual tank hero, like Hercules or Oak, Boar, whatever, you kind of want to use whatever one is going to be the most beneficial. Um, usually, the one that adds stun is not good against bosses because they're immune to CC, so check that as well. But basically, you want to get the best stats you can. So here we are. We're going to go in against a hunter boss. The biggest thing is taking down the shields. And taking out whoever's putting up the shield should be the priority. So what I'm going to do is manual these fights. So I'm going to turn off Emma, Azina, Pregor. You know what? I'm going to hope Masrani heals us well. But if I have any trouble with survivability, I'm going to go ahead and put Masrani on manual as well. Because sometimes he just doesn't heal exactly where you want him to with his AoE heal. So we're going to manual. We're going to slow this down. I'm going to go ahead, Emma, I'm going to go right in with Emma, boom, attack the boss, Pregor, let's make sure we're attacking the boss and the ads if we can, and Azina, attack the boss, straight up, 
going right in for this tough boss. We're having no trouble with survivability already. Leo certainly helps with that. But you could also use Crete as a tank. He's going to be helpful. Leo just does so much damage. He's like, I'm just going to do most of the work, girls. Don't worry. I got you. The boys are up front protecting the ladies while they just smash from the back with their fancy arrows. Or feathers, in her case. But super easy to take out the boss. Now I'm just going to get rid of... I like to try to get rid of one hero at a time for whatever's left. So this is where you guys need to get comfortable with your manual fighting. Twilight Lands was probably one of the best ways that I actually forced myself to get comfortable using a manual mode. But let's see, do we, here's a regular Hunter Bond. Perfect, this is a good example. Now we can go ahead and show you guys what I mean when there's two bosses, not just one. So he is going to... All right. They provide a shield equal to 200% of their HP to allies. And there's two of them. So this can be really difficult to do with another bond. Uh, so we want to get rid of these bosses before we worry about their adds ideally. Because they're the ones putting up the shield. So if we can be... I usually, when it gets higher stages, I focus one at a time. So I'm going to continue with Samadhi. I think this is actually working really well. Normally I use Brynhild's. But this is actually, I think, work, going to work pretty well. So, all right, we have... Everyone is... Okay, my, my girls are on manual. Let's go ahead and focus this one first. I'm going to focus the left one first. The top one. All right, I'm on one time speed notice as well, guys. That way you can be ready if something happens and quickly pause it. Boom, we got... Or the girls can just smash and not have to worry about it. Just remember, though, if, if you think you're about to be like, okay, they can just finish this on auto, remember your hero's ultimates are not on auto if you've turned that off, though. So still be ready to finish up a battle. But yeah, this is still the earlier easy stages for me in Twilight Lands. So super simple, but the same thing applies. But that's the kind of the basics there with uh, the Hunter Bond shields and then using hunters to take down those shields faster targeting the bosses that are putting up the shields in the first place should be your priority and then worry about the ads afterward and make sure you're manualing to be able to choose who you're killing first to make sure that happens same thing with the, again with the healers if you're having trouble with survivability manual your healers and make sure they're healing who needs to be healed or healing everybody properly like if Maserani's aoe isn't hitting quite right or maybe you have to add in two healers, or maybe you add in two tanks, or Luke and or Leo and um, Crete, for example. Try to play around with the strategies, and don't forget you can always pause, quit the battle, and start again, and not lose your heroes. Don't let yourself die too early because you made a mistake. Take advantage of manual. Take advantage of one-time speed, and enjoy the content and enjoy progressing your account. Sometimes the bosses actually are not within reach even when they are in the middle row. So like my Ravenna here and my Emma both cannot reach this boss. He stays really far back. I mean, Maybe they could if they were in the first row, but you kind of don't want to do that. They're very squishy. So unfortunately, you kind of have to take out the adds first. Like you see the same thing pre-gore. We can't reach that, bo bo that boss until we take out the adds. So some of these bo little mini bosses in between do have that happen. And this boss in particular has an interesting kit where he actually cannot take damage if the allies are under a shield. See that red mark, he's just said immune to damage. So like, I'm a dummy, I didn't even notice. Oh, that's okay, we already had the shield down. But in the harder stages, you will really see that. And you don't want to focus the boss until the other adds are dead, just to keep it easy or time your attacks very carefully. All right, we have the Forest of Greed Hunter Bond now. This one powers Trample Thorn Spikes as exceptional ability to break shields. So again, it's super funny how they have that. It's like this boss is like takes advantage of the Hunter Bond. They're strong against shields, but then we have to also be strong against their shields. <laughs> he gains a shield 10% of max HP when starting. While affected by weak, blah, blah, blah. So this is just like the other one I showed. This is just a higher level. This is stage eight, Forest of Greed. So we're going to go again with our 
hunter bond and see if the girls can keep rocking. Let's find out. Hopefully this is still strong in this higher stage. I also could bring in um, Botmark for sake of the decreased defense as well. That's something to consider. I think I used to do that, but I think Pregor with the AoE at first is kind of helping a little bit more. Actually, I think I can have her back there. Let's go with these girls. Azina, Emma. Okay. So this is the Hunter Bond. We're going to slow this down. We're going to manual these girls. And boom, there we go. All right, we're ready for it. So when he gains his shield, that is this passive here. We want to get those stacks down. But oh, okay, we can see we... It's really hard to get this to click on the right thing, so be really careful. That was my Azina. Behind me, now Pregor is active. We're going to attack all of them. This is the counter here. For the shield coming back. Okay, that's not, it's not a, like, ticker. It's just um, the countdown, the cooldown for it. So I'm actually just attacking the adds while we're at it. At least until the shield is back. Looks like we should have enough time to regenerate our ultimates while waiting for that shield to come back again. So, hunter heroes do more damage against shield. We have three seconds, so I'm going to wait. Cancel that use of her ultimate. And let's go. Shield is back. Let's attack. Let's attack. And Pregor, let's attack. Actually, it doesn't matter now. There's only the boss left, so we can just... Let's just let it go. Only the boss left. We just got to attack him no matter what anyway. So without the... If anything, you'd prefer to have the big attacks go when the shield is not up. So it doesn't really matter if it's up or not. This one's not too bad when it comes to the shields. Able to do this one on the first try. No problems. Forest of Greed. Complete. <laughs> Come on, girls. Finish it off. Oh, it's on one time speed. That helps. Boom. Boom. Forest of Greed boss. Easy clap. So again, bot mark is really good to throw in there if you don't have um, all the options like I was looking at. Or um, I guess Kalaza used to be a hunter. That's the confusing part, but he's not now. Xander's not great lower levels, so probably not someone you choose. Teller can absolutely do great damage. So use your Teller if you don't have Emma, Azina, and Pregor. Uh, keeping that in mind as well, but also you could also use someone that's single target maybe like Sorietta or Natalis that can do good single target damage but are not a hunter. You're just going to want to try to use their ultimates when the shield is not up. So try to be strategic and use what you got. But thank you, I will take my very first Horn of Healing, Forest of Greed, complete. <laughs>